Welcome back. Just in time for summer, Austin's restaurant scene is heating up once again with another top chef moving into the area. Seersucker started in San Diego. It's considered one of Gallo's, uh, Gallo's 40 hottest restaurants in the U.S. for 2013. Joining me today is Chef Brian Malarkey and Chef Josh Maynard, both from Seersucker, which opens tomorrow right next to Kanichi downtown. That was the breaking story. We're supposed to like, like drum roll and build That's it up. That's the big announcement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Probably two of the most entertaining chefs that, <laughs> I, that I've ever met. First of all, uh, welcome to Austin. Thank you so much. Opening tomorrow. Talk about Seersucker a little bit. Uh, why it's considered such a trendsetter. Um, you know, I, I don't know if it's necessarily a trendsetter. It's just a fun restaurant. Um, we're really excited. We're doing one more test meal tonight. We've been uh, we've been slaving away. These guys are doing like 14, 15 hours in the kitchen. Um, it's coming together. We're putting up the last pictures and putting it all together right now. We're going to be mm -hmm. open to the public tomorrow, like you had said, for dinner at 5 o'clock. Okay. Um, going to have a, a fun, great happy hour. All kinds of great things going on there. It's just a fun restaurant and it, it really kind of fits Austin and the fact that we have all these giant couches and big bar and the music's fun and the, the menu takes you all the way from cowboy caviar to pork butt to, uh, you know, great seafood, um, hanger steak, tongue and cheek. It's a lot of fun. We have fun. We don't take ourselves too serious. We just make really good food and a kick environment. So why, I beat myself. That was good. <laughs> why, why, why Austin? Why, why did you choose Austin? Because I'm greedy and I opened a restaurant in a place I love, <laughs> a place I wanted to hang out, a place I, I, I'm like, oh, I got to go to Austin again. Oh, yippee. You know, so every time I come down here, I have so much fun. The local culinary scene is so cool. The chefs are so sweet and take us out and have fun and mm -hmm. introduce us to other people. We were down here for the Food and Wine Festival. We had a great time with that. Um, I went down. I, I was at the swimming hole uh, <laughs> the other day. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. I'm into Austin. And now so. you have an excuse to keep coming back. And Josh, what are we making today? We are going to do our uh, pokey, so it's kind of like a uh, tuna ceviche, essentially. Okay. Big, bold flavors like everything else we do at Sears so Sucker. We, we got, got. Uh, well, let's get going on this, right? We got our tuna here. This is the albacore chopped up nice. Okay. We actually uh, we actually scrape the albacore off uh, off of the bone, so we fillet it. This is a really nice uh, byproduct that's actually really fatty and really great. A charred jalapeno vinaigrette that we made. Uh -huh. uh, charred onions, charred jalapeno, a lot of cilantro. He's putting some ginger in there. Mm -hmm. A little jalapeno, a little salt and pepper. Um, and so this is just kind of fun, taking something that's kind of just, you know, a, a traditional um, uh, poke tartare ceviche mm -hmm. and really putting in some great big flavors. Uh, he's going to put in some uh, candied tomatoes and some pickled uh, tomatillos. Um, and introduce us to this uh, fabric of social dining, the concept. Uh, you know, um, we have some restaurants. We love fabric uh, uh, names. I love Searsucker, the summer suit, always mm -hmm. laughing, always feeling good, going to the horse races. Um, so um, we have burlap and herringbone and gabardine. And, you know, each each fabric kind of just defines or says what the style of the place is. And Searsucker is just kind of fun and relaxing and, and kick back. And like I said, it's a place where you come in early and stay late. That's the name of my new cookbook, Come Early, Stay Late, uh -huh. on Amazon. Um, but it's a, it's a place where, you know, for people that don't want to get crazy at a club or something like that, but they want more than just, you know, the standard dinner, see you later. It's a place right. where you come in, we got great craft cocktails, you sit down in the lounge, you mingle, your friends come, they join, they hang out, you sit at big tables, you have fun. It's a great place to get together with a large group of people. And it serves until late. Is that uh, right? We're going until late. We're going to go to midnight on the weekends and we have, what it is, is this menu has so many um, options. We have the small plates and the whole menu is really designed for my ADD taste buds. Essentially, <laughs> I like to eat a lot of different flavors. We made a little jalapeno gel right there. Okay. All right. Uh, he's going to plate that right up there. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, we're going to get you a little bite right here. Okay. Um, but everything's meant to be shared. Even the entrees are meant to be shared. You drop it off in the middle. You got share spoons. And I think that's really the thing that facilitates a great time is, uh, you know, food is a component of a wonderful evening. It's, mm -hmm. the, it's the music. We have great music. It's the, you know, we'll have live music from time to time. We have great DJs coming in to help us out. Um, and then again, it's just the whole thing of sharing and having a good time getting together with your friends, right? Now, I know you were a, a, a Top Chef competitor, uh, season three in season Miami. Season three, yeah, back in the day. And and uh, we have another Top Chef here in Austin, Paul Key. I know you two have become pretty close through this process. You know, it's kind of like a fraternity when you're on the show. You know, if you get to a town where there's a, a Top Chef contestant, you kind of call them up and, you know, they show you the ropes and what's going on. And I've, I've met Paul out a few times. And, mm -hmm. you know, he's really excited. He's opening up in his new place right now. Right. So he's really busy. But he's taking the time to, like, tell us what vendors to use and who he likes. And, you know, we've gotten together and he, he tells me what restaurants he really likes to go to and stuff like that. 
Um, so, so it's good it's, company. It's good company, and there's just so many great chefs, and it's just got a phenomenal scene going on here right now with so many up-and-coming great chefs right now. I mean, I was at the Beard Awards the other day, and you've got the Barley Swine team there. You've got Uchi there. You've got some really great people here. So we're just really excited to be part of the community, and, you know, hopefully I'll be a place where the chefs come and have a, a beer and a bite after work. Absolutely. We're glad to have you guys. Searsucker, again, it opens tomorrow night right next to Kenichi on uh, 4th and Colorado. Uh, check it out. Perfect for summer as well. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.